about to be interviewed by Ron Bull and Post. Hello, Satan. Ron Bull. Hey, whoa, I got you there. I'd like to say that it's good to see you again, but um, but I can't. Hey, feelings mutual. <laughs> so, uh, so tell me, uh, I've been curious about this. What is what is your strategy with the church today? Oh, let me tell you, I love the church. I absolutely love it. I mean, half the time they're fighting with each other. They hate each other, and they hate the rest of the world too. I mean, it makes my job easy. So you use division in the church. So tell me a little bit more about how you do that. Oh, come on, Ron. One of the easiest ways is make people think they're right. Not just a little right, completely and totally right. Oh, great one. Translations, biblical translations. Everyone knows that King James is the only authorized version 1611. And it's the only one I have in my, my library. I just want to clarify this. I don't read it. But I definitely don't have the new international version, especially not one of those hippie Bibles like the... Uh, the message with the hip hop Jesus and all that. Tell you what, I, I, I am great at making people fight. Uh, give me a scenario, I will tell you how I can make people fight. Okay, all right, let's, uh, let's start with music. Music, that, that's simple, Ron. The music's too fast, music's too slow, too loud, too soft. The lyrics are too outdated or they're too repetitive. Organs versus drums. Personally, I hate them both, but you know what? If it keeps people fighting, all good with me. It's great. So what about different age groups? Oh, that's that's easy, Ron. I've really perfected this one. If I can get the older people and the younger people not working together, it splits the church right away. Okay, so how, how do you do that? Technology. That's a great one. I'm all on the Facebook and the Twitter with the LOLs and the ROTL. LMOs, you older people can't understand us. Okay, so you try to isolate the two different age groups yeah, from exactly. each other. Okay, so let's see how you do that with like the younger. Well, younger people, it's really simple, Ron. I mean, when you're young, who doesn't think they know everything? You know what I'm talking about. Sure, yeah, I've, there's many, many times I've thought I was like smarter than people that were older than me. So, oh, you mean that was you that did that? Come on, Ron, wow. gotta give props. I'm good at this. So, so what else do you do to, with the younger? just boost up their ego, a little bit of arrogance, uh, disrespect. I can get them too busy so they, they don't have time to spend with uh, the older people. They don't even know them. Uh -huh. You see where I'm going here? Sure, that's, that's ingenious. So, okay, how about the older generation? You know, the older people, if I can make them feel discarded, let's give you a scenario here. You have someone who's been serving faithfully in the church for years, for decades. And I just come alongside and just go, you know what, you've served your time. We don't really need you. And then I get them on the sidelines and they become armchair quarterbacks and they criticize everything. I just make them feel marginalized, you know? Okay, so then what else do you do with the older generation? Oh, tell me if you've heard this one before. We've never done it that way before. <laughs> oh yeah, I've heard that. I've, I've probably even said it a few times. That, that's like my classic line. I can use it for anything. Music, evangelism, Sunday school, any of them. It's perfect. I mean, I can't let the church be united. Have, have you ever heard this phrase, a kingdom divided against itself can't stand? Oh yeah, that's in the Bible. The what? The, the Bible? Yeah. Wow. Um, that, that, that's kind of embarrassing. Can, can we edit that out? So, so what does it do to you when the believers do come together? It's, it's like being at a slam at nightclub. I mean, you're just starting to have a great time and they kick you out. I mean, they throw you out on the streets. When the church is united, I can't even get in the door. What, what I've got to do, I've got to keep the church from being united. If I can keep them fighting and quibbling over minor stuff, like how they're right and everyone else is wrong, they're not thinking about the J guy. Jesus? Listen, I don't want to tell you again, I don't want to hear that name. If, if you say it again, I'm gone. So, so you have a problem when I say the name of Jesus? Come on, I just told you. You know what, we're done, I'm out of here. Turn that off. Where, where, where are you going? 